Okay, so Coco and she. Stay. Stay. Yes. Can you, can you present the rest of the Swiss delegation, please? Yes. So, the very beautiful lady over there, she is head of press. Swiss lady. Her Eva. name is Eva. The head of press also deserves a Without her, we wouldn't know what the hell we're doing, so she's great. And master of disaster, Vito <laughs> Peretz. Head of delegation. He looks good and it's fun to work with too. <laughs> Guys, I was watching your your rehearsal and you're really already this is the first rehearsal, but you're giving your all. I was watching you and I wanted to be there on stage with you. So Thank you. Wow, yeah. How amazing was that? Did you feel comfortable? Did you enjoy uh, the first uh, rehearsal? You know it's exactly what we want. We wanna have the people um, be there with us and have a party with them and, and enjoy that moment and make it a moment with them and if you wanted to be on stage with us that's perfect that's very exactly well. what we want to uh, am I? <laughs> don't, don't say it twice because I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll come but and watch you for Coco it's quite a marathon yes. she's running around <laughs> yeah yeah but it's my own fault you know I said yes to the running so now I'm doing the running you're doing the running do you know what I really like there's a moment where you put the, the microphone stand then you go over the, the bridge then you come back and bring it back but then you're kind of wiping the floor with it, which is <laughs> it's really Swiss. Yeah, it's that's 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 you know, we like to give back. You know, they work so hard. The team on stage is amazing, and they work so hard. So we thought, give something back. We do a little bit of cleaning. No, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Portuguese, you know, like we like the, the people are actually making the most of it and cleaning the the, the, the stage for us. Great. Uh, what is this song? Tell us about it. Is it about bullying? I've heard a lot about it. Or is it a bit more subtle than that? What do you think? Um, it's a little deeper than that. You know, it's. I was very aware that when we started writing the song with Laura Barker, she's over there, by the way. She's a songwriter with us. Yes. Yeah, she brought the fire. I sense a lot of love in the Swiss delegation. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, you know, we brought our favorite people. Yeah. <laughs> when you have a chance like this, I think it's so important to have a good vibe, and that's what most of the people said to us. You know, when you get to do once in a lifetime, you get to do a show like this with the, you get to bring the people that you love and the people you love to work with. So you know, we thought that's that's exactly what we're gonna do to enjoy every moment. It's important to have a great vibe in the team too, yeah. and that's what we have. Back to the story. Yeah. <laughs> I talk a lot, sorry. Uh, That's yeah. good, you make my job easier. <laughs> so, Mine too. when we um, started writing the song, we said if we have a chance to stand on a big stage like this, we really um, want to give a message that has a meaning to us and that can maybe even change something a little bit in the world for the better, you know? Yeah. Even if it's just one person that starts thinking before next time they write something mean online or whatever. Because it really, for you it's easy to write something, but you don't think about it, it actually reaches somebody and it's actually them that you're talking about. Yeah. They read it and there are suicides every day still because of bullying. And I don't just mean online bullying, it's the bullying face to face, it's the cyber bullying, and it's also the bullying that you do towards yourself in the mirror, mm. which I, I know what I'm talking about there you know it's it's something it just it just doesn't help in any way and I know it's easy to say that because it doesn't just change but I think if we can just send that message out to think about it next time you talk about someone else or talk about yourself in the mirror you know then and I, I, I think what, what's really impressive is that I saw you on the concert in, in, in Amsterdam and you said again you said this phrase anyone who has ever heard uh, how do you say it? Can you say it now? Anybody who's ever been hurt by anyone, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Yeah, and exactly. actually, everybody was putting their hands That's up. That's exactly. Because, it's, very because it's pretty universal in the sense that you've yeah. all been, all of us have been through some yeah. sort of bullying. Exactly, by, by yourself or by other people. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Every, everyone has experienced that. And also the thing is, if you look around and you realize, shit, anyone, like so many people here have been hurt by other people or by themselves you realize they're not alone and you can maybe talk about it. Great. I just love that you said <laughs> uh, uh, So you had a uh, reality show in Los Angeles that lasted for five seasons? That is crazy. Can you, can you explain this a bit? What, it what aired in Switzerland actually, okay. but it was about us in Los Angeles. About you being in Los Angeles yeah. and being in Switzerland. Okay. Um, when we decided to go to LA, the Swiss TV station came to us, hey, we want to do a show on you guys. Um, 
like a charts show or something, and we've never done TV before, we've been musicians all our lives, so that was really new to us, and, um, and we were like, sure, sure, let's do it, so we had a camera in the morning at 5 a.m. in our face, like, uh, but our, our camera guy right. is over here, like he's here too, probably, is he, yeah, he's filming somewhere, over there, see, <laughs> So uh, yeah, so we had a camera in the face every day, and we just filmed whatever happened. Uh, we what was the to make craziest it. thing that happened? There was no, no. Yeah, crazy is never far when Stay is there. Stay uh, <laughs> does a lot of stupid stuff and fun <laughs> things for other people to watch. <laughs> craziest thing? You went to the party of what's his name? Jared Butler. No, 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 not him. I don't know. I don't know. Um, just name Axel. dropping here on us. Oh, Axel Rose. Yeah, we went. We ended up at an after party with Axel Rose, and he, we were one of the people who he, he allowed us to go into his house, and I got to see his fish tank and his guitars, and yeah, that was crazy. We have royalty here. Uh, okay, <laughs> so let's open the questions here on the fourth row. Hello. Hello. Yeah, maybe we'll start over here. Yeah. As you want. Hello, I'm Sebastian. Hello, Hello. Sebastian. Good. Oh, yeah. Destination of Europe, Poland. First of all, thank you so much for bringing to Eurovision some uplifting beat song which yeah. makes everybody dance, makes everybody happy and smile. Thank you so much because it's really a great song. I would like to ask you, I would like to ask you about some artists who you are share and I'm thinking about the artists who you are influenced by. Some bands, duos, maybe single vocalists. Do you have some artists who you share love to this? Many, for sure, many, yes. Many. Um, well, it, for me, it started with the Rolling Stones. Um, when I heard Honky Tonk Woman, I started playing the drums. When I heard um, yeah, that song, the beat. Uh, we love duos, uh, the White Stripes. We love 21 Pilots, um, Imagine Dragons, which is not a duo, but yeah. Um, Pink, maybe? Yeah, Pink. I mean, world. there are many singers I love. Tina Turner is my first love, Pink. Um, but also, uh, I think my favorite song in the world and still my favorite artist is Michael Jackson because he actually made a big difference in the world. Many artists make a big difference, but he was really on another level, not just his talent, but also th that he changed the world. Um, and his song, Man in the Mirror, is one of my favorites. Actually, probably my favorite ever written, so. Okay, take your next question here in the front. He's fast. He's fast. Hello, it's James from ESC Social. Do you remember we met at the London Eurovision party? With I had shoes on that lit up. Oh, yes! <laughs> of course, no, no, no. of course! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's choose. Uh, it, social media, you must have been uh, swamped with so much stuff coming in. How do you deal with so much? coming towards you, and you're answering it as well, because you answered me anyway, a few times. Um, yeah, I think it's just part of part of life as an artist. Um, you know, it's beautiful to meet all the community online and to see what they have to say, and so many are making really funny memes, so it's entertaining us all day too, it's cool. Thank you. Bulgaria wants to talk. <laughs> you're everywhere. Bulgaria. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, we are Sveta and Valentin from EurovisionBulgaria.com. We are siblings and we have a question for you as we love you so much. Our question is, how can we keep our bond and relationship as strong as you do? Wow. Ooh, that's a good question oh. coming from other siblings. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, um, you guys should split apart in that age that you are right now <laughs> because we didn't spend teenage years together which i think is a big difference she was in london and i was in switzerland and we started writing songs via the phone uh, because there was no skype imagine <laughs> and yeah and i think that we kind of yeah then met again as as adults well Never really we left out all the fighting, it, which is... Yeah, we didn't really fight. Our mom's much. happy about that. And then uh, all of a sudden we became business partners and started the band. And then we have to switch between private life and business life. And that's kind of what it is, I think. But I read that you also describe yourselves not only as brothers, but as soulmates, which is really beautiful. So I guess that's also good. Yeah, exactly. 
Of course, you don't have to <laughs> split your ways up. Just saying. <laughs> They were already, from, they were already I'm started. just saying how it was for us. Yeah, but yeah. I think they want to you change guys, place now because they're really like, oh, we're somewhere. You guys are doing great. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Stay the way you so are. Listen, the first rule in a team like this is don't listen to Stay. <laughs> no, but always, always talk about problems. <clears throat> okay, yeah. thank you. Next Most question important. there. Hi, Alistair Birch from Eurofile. I've been reading your social media. I have a question about Spain, the yellow dress, and who helped you put it on? <laughs> who helped me put it on? I actually put it on by myself. Yeah, it's hard work. Uh, well, no, because it, it was creased in the luggage, and I was like, I just, I, I, no, I didn't iron it when I left. So we actually had uh, Miklas from the Czech Republic come and help us iron the dress, which is probably what you mean. Yes, he helped us iron the dress, and uh, he was he very proud job. of his work, as you can see on our Insta stories. Uh, yeah, you know, that's what I love about Eurovision, and I wasn't aware of this, because obviously I haven't been through this before, is that you've really become a family. It's like so many of the other artists we have met, and we're already like texting with them, and we're great friends, we're, you know, through these pre-shows, um, we really became friends and we, we, we think we have friends for life now, you know, that's beautiful. From all over Europe. Great, great to know there's solidarity uh, here. Hello, I'm Tomasz from Hungary and uh, my question is um, mm, that... Switzerland is not so successful in the past years, I mean, I mean popular but not didn't really reach the finals or, or where we're selling the on long, long time ago. But my question is, if uh, you again, maybe, hopefully not, but if you uh, not uh, qualify for the final again, will you throw wing band back uh, stones or maybe rock next year? None of us, please. Okay. <laughs> um, I think, by the way, last year was pretty close. It was, I think, about two points away. They should have gone to the final, yeah. don't you think? It was great. Um, but we've been a band since over 10 years now, and um, the Eurovision is a great adventure for us, and uh, we treat it like that, and we keep doing music no matter what, um, but of course, uh, we want to go to the finals. <laughs> is, is this pressure for the Swiss TV, not for the head of delegation? Exactly. I mean, like, maybe, yeah. It's, it's about time for Switzerland to be it's in the about finals. Time. We'll be with you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Hi guys, it's Abby here from ESCBubble.com and obviously we know you've got a great relationship these days but was it always like that when you were younger as kids? Or did you try and sort of break pranks on each other and did, maybe did your parents have a favour possibly? Well if you know this guy, he is, that's what he does all day, he does pranks and stupid stuff. Um, but <laughs> now I'm putting him in a really bad light now. Life is actually great working with Shtay because he always makes you laugh. Um, no, we have fights, of course, just like you do with any partner that you work with every day. Like we travel together, we live together, we work together. Um, of course, we have moments where we fight and we don't agree, and we just then you just have to like breathe and have a day with your friends, and then realize, oh, it's not so bad. You know, there are worse things in the world, and then you just find your way back. But yes, we fight fights for sure. Yeah, but um, if you fight or if you're like. Doing something uh, that that will, yeah, that will get on the nerves of the other person, and um, you're kind of standing in your own way, so you, yeah, don't do it. Guys, not only not only you're super grounded and easygoing, you're also of course great musicians. So would you uh, present us with a little a cappella version of Stars, please? Ooh, let's see. So that. Let's see how this mic will react to beatboxing. <laughs> <laughs>
representative from South Africa has a little something to give you and he's maybe maybe you can come here and uh, present Zibs with a little present from South Africa. It's stones. <laughs> can you just can you repeat it again please? It's, it's, uh, the whole is the shape of Africa and inside is stones from all 54 African countries. Wow, wow. thank you so much. This is amazing. This is a great ending to a great press conference. Thank you so much.